Hello everyone. So we're back at the convent today. And uh, before we get started with work, we um, need to water the plants and trees in the garden or the courtyard of the convent. So uh, we're just doing that now. <laughs> or Mo is. Billy and Gwendolyn are away for a couple of days. So we, uh, we need to do this. Otherwise they're gonna die because it's very, very hot in this courtyard. Do you want a shower? No. <laughs> no? So yeah, we've got to water the little trees there, all of the roses along there, along here. Well, there's some. Just put a little bit. I put some in yesterday. Gave him a good. Yeah, it's not good to have loads of water in there. So we're going to get in the convent and finish off um, what we started yesterday. We just want to cover a few. Uh, points that people made about using paint brushes why are we painting with paint brushes well i just prefer it i prefer the look on the wall i don't really enjoy using rollers they they're for me anyway they're quite messy i flick paint everywhere um waste a lot of paint whereas with a paintbrush you can get just use the right amount of paint that you need um we're not in a rush to do it we're not you know, a lot of people saying it's a lot quicker. Well, yeah, it probably is quicker, but it's a lot more messy, a lot more clearing up afterwards. Plus, um, yeah, like I said, we're not in a rush. It's just, it's just what we prefer. We will probably use a roller on the ceiling when we paint that, potentially. But yeah, it's just personal preference, really. I mean, uh, I know a lot of you guys say that you use them uh, in America, and do we have them in Europe? Of course, we have them in Europe. Uh, we we actually have got rollers in there. We use them for the liquid that we use to take the wallpaper off. So we've got them. It's just we don't want to use them. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And another thing I wanted to tell you guys about because I haven't updated you on it yet is Yudea. So she is still coming. It's just because she hasn't arrived yet. Just because it's been so hot and she is actually a lot further down south. So she's in Limoges, which, you know, if we've got hot weather, they've got a lot hot, hotter weather. So it's just not comfortable to travel a horse in that temperature. Um, and the guys that have got them, Jenny and Nick, they have got a horse trailer like we have. Um, and they're just a lot more, they just become a lot more hotter. So I have hired for Jenny and Nick a two horse horse box or lorry as you call it or van i don't know what you call it <laughs> but i've hired that for them which hopefully will be more comfortable for Yudea. um so she will be coming on the 8th so in about six days she'll be here six or seven days and uh yeah so i'm really excited about that and actually after we finish today we're off to paris mo's got some stuff to do there while we're there so yeah we're going to get this done quickly we're not going to spend a lot of time in here today because we've got to get to paris and uh yeah so we'll just finish watering and we'll crack on as billy says <laughs> So that's all had two coats now. So hopefully that is done. Obviously we've still got to do the cutting in and um, up in the top there, but we'll do that once we've painted the white because if I get in there, let's show you. Right, so this is obviously up inside the drop ceiling. So that area there will be painted. 
this color obviously and then here it's part of the ceiling so that's all got to be painted white so i think we'll paint that white and then we'll do the top bit up there um and obviously we've still got to do the windows and everything but um this area is finished now we've obviously got to sand it but um we've just touched up a few places on it so we're just waiting for that to dry. So that'll probably be done um, once we get back from Paris. But we're not sure in terms of this wall, because this is where the kitchenette's gonna be, or the, the sink, sorry. So this is where the sink unit and dishwasher's gonna be. And then up here, I don't know what I'm gonna have yet. So I think for now, I'm gonna hold off painting that area just because we have got a um, bespoke, kitchen company coming out and they're going to measure the kitchen for us because i found a really really nice kitchen exactly what i want uh, with a french company and we went in and had a look at their showroom and they make it all in the shop so they've got the showroom and then right behind the showroom they've got all the glass windows into their workshop where they're making all the kitchens so i am um, waiting for them to come out on friday they're going to come so i'll film that and um, they're going to measure because that area there where the sink needs to be is a funny shape well not a funny shape it's funny size and an ikea kitchen unit or something like that won't fit in there so i'm gonna get them to come out and give us a price for a kitchen unit there and a kitchen island and the rest of the kitchen is going to be made from stuff that's not actually made for a kitchen <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah i am literally all i'm buying for a kitchen for this room is the sink area and an island with everything built into the island and uh, that's where mo can bring film all his lovely cooking videos on a nice kitchen island all set up lovely for you <laughs> hey mo Yes, of course. <laughs> if you subscribe to just Mo. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the idea for the kitchen. Nice big kitchen island. And then I will show you what I'm going to do to make the rest of the kitchen with furniture that is not made for kitchens. So yeah, that's the idea. Because then that will keep the price of the kitchen down. Plus, I won't have to block any windows off. Yeah, it's going to look really good. But, yeah, I think that will, for now, until Friday, I'm going to leave it just in case I decide to put some units up there or something else. Um, I've got some other ideas. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> but now we are pretty much done for today. Just wanted to get that second coat done so that that's finished then obviously we have to do the rest, all the cutting in bits and the windows and stuff. But we need to go to Paris, so we need to get home, we need to go and have a shower, we need to pack, we need to sort the horses out, blah de blah de blah So we've got still lots to do today. So I will film in Paris. We're going there hopefully to do something um, that you guys will enjoy. But if not, we'll still film anyway, just the general general day that we do in Paris and uh, yeah we'll be back here on Friday working so see you all again tomorrow